AirVenture 2021 at Oshkosh, Wisconsin saw a few firsts, including this one, the first U.S. demonstration of an electric multi-rotor aircraft that's being pitched to what many hope will be the urban air mobility market. Volocopter's entry into this segment is this, the Volo City two-place aircraft. An earlier version of the design was flown at Oshkosh. So, you know, we're tremendously excited to be here in Oshkosh this year, um, showcasing the Volo City and also doing a public test flight, as you witnessed yesterday. We're excited to bring it, you know, to America, have people witness a Volocopter in flight and actually also hear it, because that's, a, you know, usually a, a top concern of people, but I think every time you hear it, and you witness it, then, you know, you do a check mark behind the the noise, the acoustics noise signature. It's a clear benchmark in the industry. I don't know what your personal impression was, but you know, we always feel it's very convincing to give people the, the ability to listen to it for themselves. So we've flown uh, in various cities around the world already, um, always under test and uh, demonstration licenses. Um, we're now concluding the last step towards full commercial operations. What we need for that is four different certificates from EASA, and it's similar around the world, right? And, the ASA certificate will be accepted in all jurisdictions around the globe, which is, which is a great prerequisite. Um, so the four uh, certificates are, one, you need to have a design organization approval, certifying the ability of your organization to actually build these types of aircraft. We have that as the first and only company since December 2019 from EASA. So anyone claiming something else, please ask for the design organization approval. Secondly, you need to have a type certificate for the vehicle, confirming that your vehicle, confirming that your vehicle is conforming to all regulatory requirements. This is the time-determining element in the certification process. We have aligned our certification plan with EASA, and we're confident we can complete this process before the end of 2023, starting operations in Singapore and Paris as our first launch cities by the end of 2023. So that's the timeline we're under. Certificate number three is the production organization certificate. All of our prototypes and pre-series vehicles have been manufactured in a site that is already aviation certified. And we have just uh, two weeks ago announced the acquisition of our long-term production partner and thereby also obtaining their production organization certificate. So we have that in, in, in hand as well. And then lastly, you need an operational air operator certificate, right? Uh, kind of the airline certificate. And uh, this needs to be in place wherever you go in terms of the cities and so you can gradually expand your scope of the AOCs that you have available. We're starting in Europe, but we're building up the AOC for Singapore in parallel. And uh, then we will you know, expand from there. So very well underway, expect to see first commercial passenger operations in the next two to three years, as I said, we want to be there towards the end of 2023 in time for the Paris Olympics 2024. And with Volo Drone, we can actually already start earlier with making revenues on the cargo side, staying away from critical infrastructure for the time being, but that will allow early revenues. So this is the Volo City that you can see here, right? It's a, 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 the next generation step. What you saw flying yesterday was a 2X generation vehicle. This is the next uh, step. We stay true to our basic design uh, uh, decisions so it still has 18 rotors nine batteries um, and you know just is another significant step forward with respect to maturity of the product design from a customer experience perspective but also from a certifiability this vehicle is built to conform 100% with SC VTOL uh, category requirements by as set by EASA and as will be accepted in a concurrent validation process from FAA as well so we have a lot of folks from FAA also visiting us here during our presence in Oshkosh uh, um, Volo City um, is designed to serve the urban mission, right? We want to be your vehicle of choice for JFK to downtown Manhattan, Charles de Gaulle to downtown Paris, shouldn't take longer than 15 minutes and cost you less than 100 bucks. That's kind of the direction we're, we're headed. Um, the vehicle is all electric with today's batteries. We have a range of 22 miles. As I said, John F. Kennedy to Manhattan is like a 12 mile trip. So there's plenty of routes that uh, you know, fall into that range. In fact, 93 of the top 100 mega city airport to city center routes are below 22 miles so we're perfectly viable from the start with that vehicle um, and it's uh, set to um, it's a two-seater we will start piloted um, and then remove the pilot as we transition to fully automated flight later on um, on that one if we look at the urban mission in today's average occupancy rates and taxis or uber ride hailing ride sharing services the average is significantly below two. It's more towards the one, 1.1. 1 .1. And that applies to US taxi data, Uber Black data, OECD taxi occupancy rates. So we feel even the one-seater, as we you know, start with a pilot, is perfectly catered to the needs of today's urban mission. Mm -hmm.